Another big story tonight. We're looking in depth at a new task force created by Governor Kevin Stitt. He created it in response to a scuffle that broke out at the Oak Mulgee County Jail last week. It was over jurisdiction issues between Light Horse PD and the Oak Mulgee County Jail. On this new task force, lawmakers, law enforcement agencies, and tribal members. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer explains how that task force will operate in hopes it'll provide more clarity for Oklahomans. Chaos at the Oak Mulgee County Jail over a suspect, a light horse police officer, tried to bring to jail. Later, you can hear the confusion between Light Horse PD and the Oak Mulgee County Jail. They're refusing to take him. Yeah, we, we don't recognize the majority of the Okay, this is the state of Oklahoma. Muskogee Creek Nation Attorney General Jerry Wisner says it's been a back and forth jurisdiction battle between them and Oak Mulgee County entities for years. Refusal to acknowledge what the law says, even when it's Oklahoma law, um, their blatant refusal makes it difficult for us to be able to do our job. It makes it difficult for us to be able to sit down with them and say, okay, let's work together. It's this incident that pushed Governor Kevin Stitt to sign an executive order on Friday, forming the One Oklahoma Task Force with hopes it'll provide more clarity. Stitt's task force will develop and send in a report with, quote, legislative and regulatory recommendations to address the effects of McGirt, create uniform cross-deputization and jail agreements, and any other recommendations. Remember, the McGirt decision stems from the Supreme Court ruling stating criminal cases involving tribal members on tribal land in eastern Oklahoma cannot be tried in state court. We understand that Oak County officials dislike federal laws that grant tribal law enforcement jurisdiction, but those po political opinions do not give Oak County the right to disregard and violate laws. The task force will be made up of one member from 13 entities, including the Attorney General, House of Representatives, and all Oklahoma tribes. The Secretary of Public Safety will serve as chair. The task force report is due to the governor, the House and Senate, and the leader of all 38 Oklahoma tribes by June 1st of 2024. Justin Ayer, 2 News, Oklahoma. The Oak Mulgee County Jail is operated by the Oak Mulgee County Criminal Justice Authority, not the Sheriff's Office. We tried contacting them several times, but have yet to hear back.